just wanted to say a, a little about um, raw fats to explain uh, what they are to people. And uh, this is actually a roughed out little bear that I have. And uh, this is the finished bear. So if you don't have a bandsaw to cut out patterns and all that stuff, you can, you can work from a rough out. And I, a lot of people have them. And, uh, but that's what they are, they're rough. You can still have to carve all the detail on them. You know, it's, you got the rough shape there. That, um, you got a bandsaw, you can cut out some of those shapes. And, uh, but it still won't be as close as a rough out. A rough out is much closer to a finish. And uh, you can finish them up and paint them up and do them in probably half the time when of uh, messing with bandsaw or rough out. Bandsaw cut out, I mean. So some most of them will come with um, photographs. Uh, front view, rear view, side views, and uh, these are uh, these are Chris Hammock buffets. You know, and I carved this from. You buy it rough and then you carve it out so and just get do it the best you can. This little little Captain Shortshank, he's got a a parrot on his shoulder and uh he's like he's like sitting at a bar. This th I think this is one of the bar fly uh rough outs. So that's Captain Shortshank. And uh, also, Chris Hammock will send, uh, he sends these copies sometimes, and you get a copy, and uh, you can, uh, you know, you can co make copies of it and, and uh, cut it out on the bandsaw. So, that's what I do. I do that, and I will... Uh, Cut that out on a bandsaw and make a make a bottle stopper, or use that head on a body and uh, make it a full carving. But uh, also, see, see, here's a rough out, one of his rough outs of. Uh, the one that got away, this guy's all been sucking down some beers and that, that fist keeps getting bigger and bigger, but it's, it's a rough, it's rough, you know, they're rough outs. So you still got a lot of uh, work to do on them. And, uh, but then this is a study cast that I uh, also buy that you can uh, go by, use as a go by, and that really helps. If you can get the study cast, it's a, it's the whole carving right there, the way it's, the way Chris would do it. So he's got study casts for. Um, I guess these are still available. I'm not sure. You had to check with him. And uh, so anyway, here's one. And uh, the buck hunter. I'm trying to duplicate. And uh, carved from his rough out. I bought a bunch of these rough outs when I first was, uh, was I got that urge to improve <laughs> faster. So uh, I bought these rough outs and study cast and tried to uh, learn from them. And it's a big help, big help. Besides, uh, besides that, you're going to go to, uh, if you go to a class, all the classes now, the way they're doing them is not all of them, but most of them, uh, you're going to carve from a rough out 
and uh, just include that in the price. So some of these rough outs that I'm, I'm going to be showing or I've been showing you are uh, some of my favorites. Some of them I did in classes and some of them I uh, just bought the rough out and, and did them that way. And, but if you could take a class, that one-on-one -on -one is the way to learn. That one-on-one, -on -one, if you got to get that car right there with the with the, with the uh, instructor, and you can ask questions, and they'll help you out. And uh, if there's any classes in your area, I recommend you uh, go ahead and get in one of them. Here's another little rough out, cool rough out was uh, Bruce Ann Kenny. He uh, he also had study cast. Now everybody doesn't make the study cast, but um, Bruce had it, so I bought that too. And uh, and he. Uh, I don't know, what do you think, it's uh, whenever I get a carving to this point and I'm kind of getting towards the end of it, I want to make sure I got all the detail that I can get in it, get on it in it, <laughs> you know what I mean, and uh, if to be able, it's this password, it's so late, it's hard to see really, so what I'm going to do is just, uh, and I got a study cast here I'm trying to go with, but uh, never get it just the same as the study cast. But I like to squirt it with some water. I use a the, uh, garden spray, the spray bottle. This garden spray bottle, and I just keep it full of water, and I can squirt it on the carbon and get a better look at it. And uh, let's just see. Also, it's a good way to do uh, if you're just going to put a put a finish on it and not uh, not even paint it. Of course, I'm going to paint this one. But see how much easier it is to see. When it's wet, one of Chris Hammock's bar flies. So I've carved quite a few of them, and I bought the uh, and I bought the uh, <clears throat> cast also study cast so you can study it and gives you you know gives you some dimensions and uh, you can look at that and see if uh, you're missing anything that you could add to your carving so it's good to get the buddy a study cast if you can afford it if it's in your budget. I mean, looking at this, I can see that I have uh, I have this the bottle is skinnier here, and that gives that hand a little bit bit more a better look. And uh, same with this hand. See, yeah, my my hand is. It's just too fat, and so it's the bottle. So we need to skinny that bottle up a little bit, and uh, then with the hand, and give that hand a little more shape up to the chin here, like that, and make it smaller. Everything smaller, and even the jacket is. I got it humped up there. It needs to be trimmed down, so. 
really helps to uh, improve your carving, make you make you look a little bit harder. Because I've finished a lot of carvings that I go back and say, man, I should have done this, I should have done that. <laughs> This way he can do it. And I can put a couple of wrinkles in his uh, vest here. Oh, little details that that matter. Okay, these are um, some rough outs I've acquired and and uh, carved over the last year or two and uh, some of them are still available this one here is probably still available from uh, I carved it with Steve Brown but it's uh, uh, Wayne Gosnell, Gosnell excuse me uh, took over all his rough outs and he has a multiple amount of them large amount of rough outs and I'm not sure where I got this, but I carved him uh, years ago and painted it. This guy here was a Dennis Thornton class I took, and uh, this is one of the, one of my favorites here for the for the for this year was uh, it's, it's Bob Hershey. He does these excellent animal. Animal, or he has these excellent animal rough outs, and uh, he's a pleasure to carve with. So, uh, if you get a chance to take a class with him, carve his rough outs, don't pass it up. And this is, uh, I'm not sure where it came from, but I, I carved it. I think I bought it in a, I got it in a box of, of rough outs that, uh, <clears throat> That I got it from a friend who was uh, closing his store, and this is P.J. Driscoll rough out and uh, baseball player, and there's a lot of baseball player uh, rough outs available, and uh, this wood spirit here, Rich uh, Rich Weatherby. He's got, I'm nominating him for the coolest, some of the coolest rough outs of the year. And uh, this is another one of his. He's the, um, the bell ringer you see around Christmas standing in front of stores trying to, uh, to collect some donations for the Salvation Army. Uh, that was a really cool one. And this is Chris Hammock rough out that's um, called Captain Sheepshank, I think. <laughs> don't can <laughs> don't quote me on that. And anyway, that's another uh, bar. That's another one of uh, Chris Hammock. This is a Mitchell cartilage rough out, and he's uh, He's got some really cool, cool looking guys too. And uh, contact these guys, you know, get their, buy their rough outs, buy their carvings. And here's another uh, Chris Hammock rough out. That, uh, and some of these still may be available and some may, may not be. This is, this is Floyd Wright again. And there's another, uh, favorite he's always got uh, he's got some cool stuff and some uh, fantasy fantasy and uh, he's got a mess of books that he's written and uh, I got a couple of them that I did then so I'll cut out self and everything so uh, boy right again you can get the car with him <laughs> he's cool Another uh, Rich Weatherby. He's he. Uh, everybody uh, really was amazed at this uh, rough out, and they really loved it. 
the guy, this dude, uh, station attendant, standing, leaning on the pump, the old gas pumps, uh, before credit cards. And that's, uh, that's one of my favorites of the year also. And, uh, some of these, here's another Mitchell Cartlidge guy, he's itchy. He's uh, got an itch on his back, he can't reach, you, you know, you've all been there. Got that rich itch right out of reach. And uh, he's got a lot of cool, way cool little guys like this. And uh, and he's a fun guy to carve with also. And actually I'm going to be carving with all these guys in a couple of weeks. And... Uh, <clears throat> and uh, so here's uh, Gary Phelan, he's a very popular guy, he cars these cowboys and they are cool. And he's, uh, this is his uh, rough out, uh, Mr. Custard, General Custard, and a uh, real fun thing to carve. And the, this is also his too, it was an <clears throat> old-timey football player, and he's, he's pretty cool. He's got a that old-timey hat on, and uh, you can make him, you can paint him the same color as your team or whatever if you want. And uh, I didn't have a team in mind, I just painted, I liked the colors, so I just painted them this color. And uh, he's got a mess, a big mess of, uh, of uh, rough out to choose from. And it makes it difficult. These are some, this is an older, older rough out. And uh, it's been around a while. That was in the box of rough outs and, uh, that, I, that I got from uh, the store that was retiring, or friend that was retiring their store. And, and pretty cool. I'm not sure if this is even still available anymore. Uh, might not be. Could be. Might not be. And uh, this Bruce Ank, and he, he, this was real popular because he he made a he made he's got a bunch of little rough outs of uh, of hippies about this size, you know, it's like maybe as big as my hand. And some of them I wish I'd have carved better, <laughs> and some of them um, I'm kind of proud of. And uh, here's another Rich Weatherby. He's got these two bears kind of hugging each other. And uh, I'll be carving with him again, too, in a couple weeks. Uh, Renegade Wood Carvers Roundup in Lebanon, Tennessee. And here's one now. I don't have a finish on this, and I was going to paint some more on it, but it's a, one of the coolest rough outs by Bob Hershey. This fox in the hen house. I'm not, uh, I'm sure that's not the name, but I'm, he's got himself some dinner there. He's, he's got him by the neck, and he's going to lick in his chops. And uh, that's another way cool animal rough out from, from Bob Hershey. And uh, he's got more now that I haven't even had a chance to carve, but I'll get them. And uh, here's another of my, one of my favorites. So size matters, this big old fish that this bear caught. And this is a Rich Weatherby, Rich Weatherby collection, the Weatherby collection. 
And he's got some details in the back. He's wearing a little vest and a fishing vest and some waders and he's got himself a big one. And uh, real fun, real fun car. And uh, here's another one of my favorites. And my verse, as soon as I saw this, I said, I got, I got a car of that. And uh, it's a raccoon. He's sitting on a log and uh, bunching down on some corn on the cob. He's got his salt and pepper shaker there. And that's a that's another way cool when uh, one of his animal <clears throat> animal roughouts and designs, and he's he's very good at that. So you wanna you wanna get get a carving done uh, faster. And carving from a block is uh, is is good so definitely the most reasonable <clears throat> this is a little this girl here was designed by Bob Thurston uh, to hold the lights when we go to these uh, carving events a lot of times the lighting isn't all that you, you would like it to be <laughs> so he designed this girl to uh, you could carve it as a guy, you could carve it as a girl, but it's, uh, he holds our light for us. Let's see if I can, oops. <laughs> Let's see if I can turn it on with my, I can hold the camera too. He's got a light there. <laughs> so. Plenty of rough outs available. And, uh, can't think of your own design or anything like that, just kind of let somebody else do it. Buy the rough hat. Most of them are, I guess, from $15 to up to $30 each. And, and uh, <clears throat> some people balk at that and some people just have no problem with it. But I guess it all depends on your budget, and uh, and uh, I I really and all the classes you take are gonna you're gonna be carving from most mostly all your classes are you're gonna be carving from a rough out, and uh, you'll have to include that in the price. But it's well worth it, very well worth it. Give it a twirl. Carve something every day.